Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Dorbin number 383A. This is a handicap ramp, they call this, and this is uh, used generally in conjunction with Dorbin's 384A. This would be the back side of it. So the 384A is the half inch to zero six inch ramp that would fit right in front of it here. This would then allow you to transition over your surface where you have a half inch dimension here and this is a quarter inch dimension over here and you've got that quarter inch brace that's right here or that <clears throat> web to support it on top of the structure. I can't think of an application where you would use the 383 on its own. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> you might have some unusual floor condition where you want to transition um, from an exterior side okay to where you have some sort of a flooring condition that would be on the inside okay you might use the 384 or pardon me the 383 and this is just a six inch sample piece where you have a door over this area somehow but then you're going to have some flooring that's going to be applied to the subfloor but you do need some way to transition because you're not going to run that sub that flooring up into the doorway so you might use a 383 there but it is generally seen installed when we have it on the back side of a 384 the triangular piece so this is the 383 that's a six inch sample piece this item is six inch wide okay it is indeed half inch overall height here then what's going to happen is from that half inch height, we're going to have a quarter inch over here. So you're going to be able to transition over that quarter inch area fairly well. Actually, it'll be a half inch transition is what it'll be. Because we'll have actually a overall height closer to three quarter when that's installed. So that'll allow you to transition over that sort of disparate floor surface. Now it's available in the A finish which is mill aluminum and this is unusually scratched because this is just a sample piece that's been knocking around in a box of mine for a while. Um, you know you're not going to have that those marks that are there. The A is mill aluminum finish. Mill is what the what it, the product looks like when it's extruded at the mill. You can also do it in a D finish, which would be a dark brown from um, Dorbin. I believe that they're powder coating that material. Um, it's not anodized, uh, that's to be sure, but they do call it a dark brown <clears throat> anodized or paint. Um, <clears throat> they, they call this isn't a video on the D finish, but it's A mill aluminum D for dark brown anodized or paint. Some of their product is certainly anodized. The uh, weather stripping, I think, is anodized, uh, but some of it's powder coated. And a threshold like this would be powder coated. Um, obviously, atypical for a manufacturer to do that, but that's what Dorman does. This would be listed in the site in lots of different lengths. You could order it really in any length that you want. Uh, we're going to have it listed in the site from... Uh, two foot to eight foot on generally about six inch increments. Uh, other common sizes, however, would be, you know, 32 inch, of course. Um, if you have need for a custom length, let us know. Order the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field the length that you'd like for us to cut the material back to. Now, the reasoning is, if this was the genuine article, I would think because of the six inch width there's still only going to be one screw hole that will occur in here on this plateaued area 
Uh, the point of the matter is it'll be probably three or four inches from the edge. Well, if you were to take a 48 inch piece and cut it down to 44 inch, you're probably going to eliminate that first hole. And this will include um, number 10 flathead inch and a half uh, Phillips drive wood screws. They would technically be, they wouldn't be threaded to the head. So if you order a custom length because you need something cut to length, we'll give you that countersink not only at the proper distance from the edge, but the proper center to center running down the length. Now below this video is some extended description information that's more summary. It does make a reference to special fasteners that can be done. Now, if you're putting down a threshold, I personally feel that lead expansion anchors and machine bolts would be superior and we can supply that to you. Uh, so just reach out to us and we'll be able to supply that information or that material. Uh, there's an upcharge for it, but it can be worked into the uh, total cost so that you have the proper anchors when the material arrives. Other preparations like notching can be done. Sometimes you might need to do an L notch or cope the uh, material. We would require a sketch for doing that and the factory will quote that upon request. Generally, of course, that work's done in the field, but it doesn't have to be. If you've got 50 of these to do, send a sketch. <laughs> Let's have the factory do it. They've got the tooling to do it, uh, etc. Now, finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Dorbin products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Dorbin, this is their part number 383A, ramp style transition threshold, or any other Dorbin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.